Oops, that's not good. All right, let's quick save that mess. Now, uh, something that I should have done a while ago. Uh, see all this mess I've got down here? You can drag these things off. Uh, and I suggest you actually redo the whole damn tray. Uh, and it's just because it's going to be problematic until that time. I know we haven't done a damn bit of fighting this entire time, guys. It's already been 40 minutes. But this is important stuff because this is the last level we're ever going to get in this playthrough. Dog outside agrees. See? And of course, you see we've got a tab here that goes even lower. There's tab level two. Now, how do you get it back in? Go here or press K, and you'll see you have uh, all your spells and actions that you can slap down here. I highly recommend that you grab your action surge uh, and your uh, unique stuff that came from your gear, like your necklaces and such, down here first. You can keep track of those things, okay? Uh, then I would always put the cantrips first. Why? Because they're infinite use. How you set them up, you know, like if you want to have the attack ones side by side, or if you want to have them spread out in the order that you pick them, I don't care. But again, nothing wrong with having these things here. Now again, I will have like utility spells down here, stuff that I would like pre-buff up with, say. Notice that we have this tier protection. That's not one of my spells, but it is a spell that comes from my gear. Remember that I have a sword that gives me this ability. Uh, so it's your Thunder Wave now. Reese. Notice we have that one already on the list and that one already on the list. Uh, we can do the same for everybody, but again, you're going to want to clear out their list of stuff. It gets, again, very unwieldy very quickly. And the game, if you don't lock it, which again is something else that we're going to do, uh, I'll do that once I put like potions of healing and stuff in his tray. Um, if you don't lock it, the game just naturally assumes that you want to fill up the damn tray. So it just keeps adding. That's why you see all these stuff that I didn't put in here. That they're suddenly here everywhere. If we didn't lock any of these things. It just keeps adding more and more and more. And so, oh, you have this? You definitely want that, don't you? Oh, okay, let's put it here. And it starts making it very, very large. Uh, so again, we press K. Uh, so let's grab our turn on dead ability. And we definitely want that down here. Here's our blessing of the trickster. This allows her to make uh, someone on the team more stealthy. Uh, that's kind of nice. I don't know how long that lasts, but invoke duplicity, something you use in combat. Uh, makes an illusion to distract your enemies, basically. Uh, here's our cantrips of resistance and guidance and sacred flame. Notice now she has minor illusion, and minor illusion, by the way, is extremely similar to invoke duplicity, so I don't really know what the difference really is on these other than the range. Uh, dancing lights, though, that's more of a utility spell. Let's put that down. Same with light. Uh, now, as far as stuff that she has slotted, notice that she has spells that she has already picked. Notice how she has spells here at level 1 and at level 2 with the same spell. Guiding Bolt level 1, Guiding Bolt level 2. Notice how this one here is 5d6 of radiant damage. This one here is uh, 4d6. So the level 2 version is more damage. You'll see this again, same with my build. Uh, or sorry, on the wizard's build. The wizard has a magic missile level 1 and magic missile level 2. And his magic missile level 2 will be do like another bolt, another arrow can shoot off. So again, casting at a higher spell slot, which I, again, I appreciate that they have that in this game. But we want to take our, our stuff down here, there are buffs, here's our bless. Uh, let's take our attacks of Bane, guiding bolt, I'm going to put here. Healing word, again, is another buff, sort of, for the team's aim, shield of faith. Uh, notice I'm going to have healing word again down here. These are kind of buggy. Um, Bane. Notice I'm going to stack Bane side by side so I have level 1, level 2 in case that's important to me. Uh, I have Pass Without Trace. The same as this thing? No. Uh, oh yeah, I'm going to grab Guiding Bolt Part 2, or level 2. Uh, I'm going to grab our Prayer of Healing, put that down here. That can't even be used in combat. Aid is a buff. We'll put that down here. And that's it. Okay? And again, we'll come back to her uh, to put in other stuff like her... Uh, well, here, let's actually just do it right now. We can put in stuff that she might use, like potions and whatnot. Uh, so let's grab... Um, 
You know, I am actually kind of curious. Oh, sorry. I've locked the tray. See that? Unlock it. Just grab stuff and drag it down in here. I'm going to grab water down here. I have an idea. Hmm. Wine. I'm wondering if we can throw these things and set them on fire. I wonder if we can throw water to put fire out. Uh, I think that might be pretty damn interesting. And we got here pushing the healing. We definitely want those for her. She takes it on the chin quite a bit. Alchemist Fire, we'll put that down here. I'll oh, we'll put that up here in the attack column. We have Potion of Vitality. Put that down here. Pull resistance. Acid Vial, I put over there by the Alchemist Flat. Bomb. Potion of acid resistance, fire resistance, poison resistance. I'll put the poison resistance down here since we're in the spider cave. And then I'm going to lock it. See that? So now it doesn't matter. Nothing will appear, and I don't think they'll even appear at level 2. So the more stuff we suddenly pick up, the more spells we get, this is it until I unlock it and start putting stuff back into the tray. This is very useful because, again, it can keep you from having bloat. Like if you looked at my character before we deleted all that stuff, he had this tray wholly filled, and then he had a shit ton into level 2. And again, I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't keeping track of what I had on my characters. Now, this is our chance to do that. Uh, for example, I've noticed I could put basic poison on his weapon. It's a coating action. You literally just bonus action. You activate this, and it will coat your weapon, I believe. And as such, your weapon now has poison damage to it. Don't like that. We have... Um, I don't think we're going to set wine on fire. We've got Alchemist Fire. Grab that. Sure, why not? Bucket of Water. I'm wondering if I can use that to throw on a fire the fire out. Pretty cool, right? Uh, mug of beer. Hell, you can try that. Goat meat. Uh, carafe of wine. Uh, we got here wine, 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 wine. Cost of bulb, though. We know that one definitely works. Uh, what else might we use? Oil of sharpness. That's the buff. Literally, you get bonus to your attack and your damage rolls for a specific amount of time. You buff up your weapon with it. Potion of healing, you know we want those. Potion of speed. Garlic, oh that could be interesting if that's a vampire anywhere nearby. Large bottle, no rope. Mm. Better get the cabbage, what else you got here? Uh, potion of fire resistance, sure why not. Uh, potion of poison. Oh. I wonder if we could throw that, though. It says drink, but I don't want to drink it, obviously. Let's see if that's an attack. Um, rogue's morsel. Nope, that's just food. What we got here? We got a grease bottle. Here we go. There's an attack. Put that over here. And small bottle, acorn, antitoxin. Oh, here we go. And we had that. Air of fire. Nice. Oh, what do these things do? Nope. Nope. Uh -uh. Mm, okay. Dagger root bundle. Uh, dragon egg mushroom. Ooh. Uh, the fungus is often sought out by healers who believe it can draw out toxins. Okay, so now that might be something we could actually use if we have been poisoned. Um, potion of force resistance. That's a trippy one. That's the uh, force damages from the, the warlock's main attack. Remember the cantrip that they use to attack all the time? It's force damage. Potion of greater healing. We'll leave that off. I'm going to put the candle down here. As a matter of fact, let's actually split them. Why? Uh, because you can actually throw them down, they'll throw both like a dumbass. This way I can set one down, light it on fire, move a little bit, set another one down, light it on fire. So again, pretty interesting stuff. And I can, of course, just as easily have done my um, scrolls. Let's actually put some of these down here. So a ray of sickness, scroll of aid, animal friendship, burning hands, wounds. Fire bolts, shocking grasp, 
which is bolt. And it's good enough for me. So let's actually lock that. And then you have to go back up. You don't have to worry about those anymore. Um, I'm not going to do the others because that's good enough, I think, for now. But I will uh, show you. Where is it? Remember, she has that light spell right here. Notice you have to pick a target. The target can be a variety of things. It can literally be stuff like the web. It can be stuff that's on the ground. That was terrible. I didn't do anything. Uh, oh, I think it made a save. Uh, but if you do it on, like, say, a teammate or yourself. Also, those are in poison. See how the bow that was glowing? That literally is what it's going to do for you. And again, that character, whoever he is, I mean, um, when he pulls out his bow, you'll see that he's he's glowing. And anywhere he walks, he's going to have a, a halo of light around him. Now, of course, I would not use the light spell to stealth. Is a fine example of some, a bad idea. Torch, though. Uh, she could just as easily use it on, say, the web right here, the spider web. Look at that. Holy shit, right? Like the whole goddamn area. Come on, everybody. She can cast it on multiple people. One of the other things that I kind of like about it. Casting it again doesn't shut it off on the others. It's kind of nice. They don't last forever, so there is that. And I don't know how long they do last. This looks like our uh, entrance. For those of you that didn't catch the last video, the video before last, I should say, this was how we got inside. Uh, and I think I do want to do a quick save here. Or a hard save here, excuse me. Um, so that if I ever need to come back to this area, we can just directly go back down in. I know there's a lot more in that area, but I did say I wanted to check out that cellar. We got sidetracked when we found this area. I said, ooh, shinies, and we got lost in it. And it's just, again, there's nothing wrong with that, but again, I'm happy that I'm level four. Let's just say it that way. Um, I remember this is where we mugged those guys, but where was our cellar? Aha. Uh -huh. Front and front and center, right? First did we actually unlock this? If not, we did not. There we go. Okay, so we'll come in here. Cellar was in the back, I believe. Yes. Somebody had suggested that I move the barrels and such in the area. Uh, I was over here. You know, remember that we have well, probably these things right here. Um, we detected something over here. And we we like, well, what is it? And we clicked on this. Something was in the, the chest at that point. We're like, oh, okay. And we actually couldn't do anything beyond that. But someone said, hey, why don't you move these boxes or whatever? Yeah, and find a lever. See how sneaky the devs are? Oh, my God. Break stuff. This is connected to the spider area. Yeah, maybe not. A is for Azuth and other gods too. Huh? You guys got anything over here? Oh hell. Bus Guardian. And he just woke up another one. 
noticing a pattern here. Uh, all right, we need to drop this bastard because he's probably the next on the list, right? Uh, agile guardian, robust guardian. Uh, I need to jump out of the way. Disengage. Okay, now, uh, use our bonus action to do that so I can't activate that. That sucks. Um, Sixteen forty-two. Notice how it says the target is obscured by shadows. You see that over in the corner over here? Right over here. That's what I mean by like having a light source out. And again, I could have a light source out if I literally gave him like a um, uh, what do you call it? A candle, for example. And I believe you can throw them too, but I don't know that they stay lit if you throw them. I think you can drop them on the ground and you have to activate them, which is easy enough to do. Uh, but it's one of those things that again adds to the light. Notice how he's lit up. If I walked over to him and switched weapons, uh, his uh, sword would be lit up as well because she casts light spell on him, which buffs the weapons, period. Then, them walking over there, they wouldn't be hidden, I don't think. I, I think, though, I saw someone, yeah, that you could switch characters early and, and come back to him later. So let's actually do this. Move forward. Go! Attack that and take that round. Um, I have a bonus action, so let's actually shove around. Shadows. Okay. Your turn, sir. Uh, with him. That's an action. I don't want to use my action for that. And I got my bonus action over here. Short rest before use. That's okay. 40, 65. And I think I want to do the. You there? Oh, you son of a bee. Okay, so you now I see how I have my reapply hex available here. Uh, and again, we have, we can, I, I hate saying debuff their charisma. Their charisma rolls, their ability checks with their charisma, their uh, wisdom checks, their intelligence checks, stuff of that nature. So again, I know that con is something that we like penalize them with with some spells. Where if they have a low con roll, they're probably going to get hit by it. This one here, you see how it has a ranged attack, so there is no benefit from it other than it sets him up for extra damage if he hits. And I've used up both my bonus action and my uh, action. Well, I'm going to have him just come over here and finish him off. Come over here, like yay. And I'm going to push this faster. Okay, let's have her do her effect here of um, dancing lights. You see that? That was my bonus action. Again, it takes away this pip. You see my action pip is still here, so I can still do my melee attack. And again, getting a bonus now because the bastard's lit up like a goddamn Christmas tree thanks to this. That's a solid hit, too. Your turn, sir. Here. And notice I still have bonus action and bonus action. This is again an example of someone that could have really have used a spell 
from a magic initiate, whether it's from a warlock or a cleric or a wizard, whichever you pick. But pick at least one of his spells that he'd have that would be a bonus action. Could be a great boon to him. He could really have something that he could still do right now instead of relying on his dip, his shove, his hide. Hide's obviously the one you're going to grab more often than not. Uh, but, um... Yeah. Let's have him come over here. Notice again I can reapply my hex. This time. Excellent. Then we want to do our blast. 65% for that. Save that. I'm going to have her. Oh, shit. Him. Yeah. Do his canter. Okay, he can swing at him. Back to him. And now that he's lit up, better chance to hit, I believe. Yeah. That's how we do things in my neighborhood. Mm. Suck it. Not bad. Not the best. But I am getting used to it. Um, I did want to eat something. Okay, I feel better about being. 26, 21, 15, oh no. I'm gonna heal, heal him up too. Uh, what can you eat, sir? Mug o beer. Can't eat the hands, huh? I wonder what you would use those for. I mean, obviously you'd throw them. I wonder if it would distract like dogs or something. better about that. He's at 32. He's at 20 of 32. She's at 21 of 32. And I'm at 26 of 41. He's actually the healthiest right now. To eat that deer sausage. There we go. And you. You need that sausage too. Wow, he's only getting like one off of that. Eat a pear. There you go. Uh, and eat that cheese. Nice. 21 or 32, yeah, she needs a little more. Let's get some potatoes in her system. 27, nice. Okay. Uh, so, obviously we have bodies to loot. Uh, one sec. Uh, first let's read this. Is there anything fancy about it? Just God lore. Notice that we have a candle here. And again, we should. Yeah, now I suppose check out the area. Well met. Stop getting in my way, you dumbass. Oh, we have a fill meter. Got all of that. Look at those things. Summon closet. Up or whatever. Candle, taking it. Okay, so it looks like we're heading in this area now. Great. 
It's like a random freaking place of dead peeps. Uh, and again, if I really need to see something, light the area a little bit. Honestly, think it'd be kind of cool if they uh, made it where um, you can't see certain items to pick up if you're not you don't have enough light source, or if you don't have dark vision, for example. I think that'd be a kind of a cool addition, but some people would probably hate that. Uh, notice that we have something way the hell over yay. And that would probably require our super jump spell, which we don't have access to on this team right now. Uh, and I'm not going to burn a scroll to grab it. But there's also a, what appears to be a pit down here. If you jumped into and fell down the pit, if you had feather fall, from what I understand, of course, it would activate before you hit the ground, assuming there's somewhere to go. Uh, but I don't know how that actually works. I've never tried it out. Way we came. Let's go back. We missed stuff over here. Man, it looks like a door. Ornate mirror, no less. Hold on. Alright, what do you guys got for me over here? Light source. Do a quick save. Thank you to whichever of my viewers pointed this out to me. I am so glad you pointed it out. As I knew I felt like I was missing something. I'm like, man, this feels like something that's totally wrong here. Jack, human man. Tell your name. I do not know this name. Of course not, I just told it to you. If you are known to my master, step forward and declare yourself an ally. Oh. Uh. Wise. I have no idea what this is going to do, so I'm going to do a quick save first. Let us talk to it again. You are not my master. If you are his ally, step forward and declare it. Oh, no. Only a true ally of Illentoth may pass. What think you of the Zolkir known as Zastan? Oh, that guy's awesome. A poor choice. You will be purged. Excuse me? What does that mean? What purge? Why purge? What the hell is that? What in the hell? Oh shit! Oh shit! We got droids in the game. <laughs> well. We're going to stumble bum our way through this the right way. Saves coming in its finest. So that guy is apparently a douche. Uh, That's a trippy little droid thing that happened out of nowhere. I'm assuming, I saw that it was a history check that we failed, by the way. I'm assuming that either A, we need to make that check, or B, it was probably a lore book somewhere we probably should have read. That would tell us that they're like rivals or something. But I'm not sure I'm Pretty exciting though. I like this area. I wonder what's on the other side of this damn thing. You are not my master. We already know this. If you are his ally, step forward and declare it. Oh, uh, sure, I'm an ally. Only a true ally of Illentoth may pass. What think you of the Zolkir known as Zastan? He remembers stories of Zas Tam, a powerful lich in Thay who made deals with dark gods. A foul lich, may he die a thousand more deaths. 
You are no so clear. But are you wise? Tell me, why might one use balsam ointment? I wrote a doctor journal who used balsam to clean a wound. Uh, treat burns? I think this is it because it, it's giving us that we've read it. Acceptable. Finally. If you could see anything in me, what would it be? The inner you. I <laughs> see the ones I love. I look for uh, whatever spell will rid me of this worm in my head. I see my enemy suffering. I see the ones I love. We. Screw you. Poor choice. Ah oh, shit, we'll be Nope. 